Please um, run the board. Please, Sonia, what's up? Did you? You late? Why are you late? Because I have to tell Okay. All right. Go ahead and just go on by. There you go. It's all good. All right, I'm going to come around to check your planners, so please have it out for me. You need to have heart, anatomy, label, and color. Heart, anatomy, label, and color. There you go. Yeah. That's a great question, and let me address that in just a moment, okay? Please go ahead and write this. I'm going to walk around, and thank you for writing it down. Thank you for writing that down. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Good. I like that. That's cool. Okay, thanks, Inga. What are you doing today? Okay. I don't think everybody's here. Welcome to my world. Good, thank you. I promise I will be here on Monday. Okay, just write it on there then. Good, that's perfect. Happy teacher. Happy teacher. Thanks, that's great. Okay, you can put your planner away. Um, let me just, um, this, uh, this sheet right here, this blood fun sheet, um, you do not have to staple this. This can be separate. If you wrote on it, then that's okay too. But um, if you stapled it, that's okay too. But um, you don't have to staple it. I just need the sheet that has the answers. So if you could make two separate stacks when you pass to the center aisle. So Thomas, you're going to make a stack of these and you'll make a stack of the answer sheets. And then you'll walk them to the Home Fun Hotel in the back, period three. Yeah, you, you. And Jenny, would you collect also? And Haley, would you collect? And Nick, would you collect? I didn't get the point. Did you get this one? You didn't get it? Okay, well, we'll, we'll go over that. But we probably won't go over it today, but we will go over it like in the next week. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I forgot it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, well, you know, turn it in tomorrow for half. And um, the other thing is half's better than nothing. And you've got, you've got bank because, um, you know, you've always turned in your assignments on time. And so if you forget every once in a while, you kind of, it's not going to hurt you that bad. Nice. That's good. No, that's, that's fine. It could be smaller too. But. <laughs> Oh. All right, pass them on down. Go ahead and put them in the basket. Just make those two separate stacks. Yeah, uh -huh. I'll get them for you. They're not super duper cold, unfortunately. But all right. We got. Let's go through the um, the cards. Okay, hey, uh, Nick, will you run those back there, please? Thank you. You can put the um, put both stacks in the basket. It just makes it easier for me to sort out. So, all right, right. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I have a spatula. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right, let's go through these cards. First, let's start off. Oh, by the way, if your back is to me right now, please turn and face me up here in the front. Thanks. And um, so we're going to start off. You know which one's first, right? The 11 organ systems are first, and so we're going to start with one. Sun, skeleton, two eyes. Look at my muscles. Three. Triangle is integumentary, four, floor, cardio, vascular, cardio, vascular. Five fingers is nervous, six, six is reproduce or reproductive, seven up is digestive, eight, octopus, urinary, that's my favorite, nine, baseball is respiratory, ten, hen is emphatic, and then eleven, goal, endocrine. Which one's, which one's the easiest for you to remember out of those? Endocrine. Do you know? Oh, really? Endocrine? That's the hardest one. 
seven up. Urinary, urinary, urinary. <laughs> okay. Stable internal environment is known as homeostasis. What are the What are the other numbers? What are the numbers on there? Wait, wait, wait. See inside normal temperature, but I'm I'm waiting to hear something else. It's really important in science. Ninety-eight point six. Degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, degrees Fahrenheit. And oh, 37 degrees Celsius. Now, why is it so very important that you put that degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit? Why would that be just so very important? Any idea, Elizabeth? No. No idea? Okay. Um, Mary, any idea? I know you know. I know. Wait. Why? Why is it important that I have those two numbers on? I mean, those degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit? What? One more time? You might mix them up. Might mix them up. See, 98.6 degrees Celsius would be almost very different. <laughs> it would be boiling. almost boiling. And, uh, you know, that's why it's so important to, to write that down or to um, have that written down if you're writing it down. Major bones. Major bones. We're going to start with the top of our head, which is called our skull. And um, I'm looking at the answers back here. What is this? Mandible. What is this? Um, yes. Scal Scal yeah. Maxilla. Okay. What about this one? Clavicle. How about this one? And um, what about this one back here? Scapula. 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 Okay. Sounds like spatula, huh? What about this? These. Rib. Rib. Um, do your bones just have? No, they do your ribs? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna ask. You're on the psychic hotline or something. Okay, so if this is bone, what else are your ribs made of? Cartilage. Okay, let's see. Oh, hold up your arm. And what is this bone called? Humerus. This is your humerus, right. And then what's this one? Radius. And what's this one? Oh, exactly. And go ahead and point to your vertebral column. Right here. Right here. And your pelvic girdle. Right here. Yeah. And right what here. about? It's is that nice to point? And that's femur. Right here. Right here. Right here. It's girdle. Right femur is right here. And then your patella Down here. is right here. And what's in the middle right here? Tibia. Your tibia and then on the outside. Tibia. And what did Scott come up with that reminds us of the difference between a tibia and a fibula? Wait, 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 T.O. Go ahead. A fib starts out small, and what about the musical instruments? That's a good one. Go ahead. Uh, um, a, a, tibia, a tibia is big like a tuba, and a fibula is small like a flute. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Good. You said it, not me. All right. Yeah. Interesting fact. The temperature inside our mouth is like 90-something degrees, and if you held a chicken's head in there for like a week or two, <laughs> you could cook it. <laughs> That would definitely be a slow cooker. <laughs> Ligaments do what? What do they do? Hey, I just want to thank thank all of you who are looking up here. I'll mention your names. Okay. So ligaments connect bones. And soft flexible tissue is known as cartilage. Name one place that has cartilage. Your Your ears. Knees, shoulders. Three types of joints. We got this, which is. That's right. Oh, what's this one? Yes. What? Yes. My dad like tore a piece of cartilage out of his knee that was like the size of a quarter once. Do they have to go in and get it out? They get in there with a little, little arthroscope, and then they suck it out. Clean it up. All right, wait, wait, let's move on. Okay, then we're going to come back. We'll come back. Flex is what? Shortening. Shortening. If flex is shortening, extend is lengthening. Show me flexing. Show me lengthening. Good. Great. Connects muscles to bones. Is a tendon. Is a tendon part of a muscle? Yes. Yes. Happy, happy. The skinny part, the cord. See, it's like this or it's this. Isn't that gross? You look like a reptile when you have hunt. You look like a dinosaur. <laughs> you got the long hair. I know. It's, I'm sorry. I don't mean to gross you out. Hey, look. I didn't flip my eyelid inside out. You should be thankful. Or do my eye trick, you know. Yeah. 
and then cardio. And oh. so gross. Oh. That's terribly wrong. Did I spin your mascara? I'll never look at you. Yeah, but you know what? A four-year-old would fall for it. That's that's fine. Yes, yes. Not you guys? Okay. Three types of muscles we have found in the heart only? Cardiac. Cardiac. And, um, well, cardiac is cardiac muscle. And how can you get this to be stronger? Exercise. Bobcat run. Your favorite. Digestive tract and blood vessels. Smooth. Smooth. I said smooth. Smooth is right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh. Yeah, that's cool. What? He's going like this. No, right. I don't like it. I hate He's it. sticking his finger in his ear. And, okay. No, that's it's just, oh, you know, oh, when oh, you yeah. have a boring childhood like I did, then you come up with all kinds yeah. of little fun really games like that to distract like yourself. <laughs> okay, so smooth muscles. Do you have to think about moving your smooth muscles? No. No, your brain does it automatically. It's a, it's a good thing. They're involuntary. It's like the All right, you know the last one's attached to your bones, which is? Skeletal muscles. Can you please name one example of a skeletal muscle? Biceps, triceps, quadriceps, hamstrings. Okay. Lever gifts. You can't say that. You can't use the word. Leverage Leverage gifts. Can you see through here? Let me give you a hint. Mechanical advantage. So that helps. You do work, and it doesn't mean that it has to be a machine like um, like that runs on electricity or gasoline or something. It just a machine is something that helps. Check this out. A machine that is a, a machine is something that helps you do work. <laughs> okay, so um, it helps you do work, and uh, that's why they call sometimes they call the human body. A machine. The best okay. machine. The machine. best machine, yeah. Your machine. An animal. Parts of a lever. If, if you said, the, I don't know what you said, but if you said any of these three things, you're right. Okay? Hey, um, did you notice that I have uh, arrows and stuff on this? Yeah. Um, I got a, an arrow pointed down like this, and why? Because the load has mass, and then the effort. You are the effort, or the machine is. And then the pivot point, right? It's the part that doesn't move that much. So let's look at some examples. Oh, well, you know that... Um, you know that uh, there are three classes of levers, right? Um, how many classes of levers are there? Three. three, okay. So there's three classes of levers, and they're determined. The rule of classifying levers is what? Oh, the what's rule in the middle? <sighs> Whatever is in the middle. So all you have to ask yourself is what's in the middle, and that will help you determine what kind of a fault what kind of a um, lever it is. Okay, so check this out. Here's a first class lever. And we know that the word, that the word first begins with the letter F. So what's in the middle? That's right. What? But I knew this one. Okay, let me ask you individually. Okay. Kyle, what's in the middle of a first class lever? The fulcrum. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so when you're on, who wants to be a millionaire, you can thank me. <laughs> All right, well, no. Okay. So, first. I love that. Here's the F. First. Second class lever, what's in the middle? Okay, hold up your L. Okay, we know that there's two digits in the number two. One, two. And if you... Pull them out, it makes an L, and the L stands for? Load, not loser. Loading. Not learner, load Loading. in this case. Well, you know that L is for learner, because we don't say loser. And it's near, it's near failure leads to success because whenever you fail, you're one step closer to learning what you need to learn. Now, it's wax, you guys, so when it gets really warm in here, it's kind of sagged a little bit. So, third class lever has what in the middle? Okay, we know this is third class. Make it easy. 
effort. This is a wheelbarrow. You can do that too, but this is easier for me. A broom. That's easier for me. Okay, a broom's an example of one. In fact, let's look at some levers right now. Pliers, broom, and wheelbarrow. Yes, this is from my very own home. That's right. It's a spatula. And it, what, when would I use particularly this spatula? Cooking, but hamburgers. But where do you, where do you usually make hamburgers? On a barbecue. So why would it have such a long handle? So you burn yourself. I burn myself. It gives me more leverage. Too. Okay. So let's let's think about. All you have to do is look at this and decide where the three parts of the lever are. You need to decide where the fulcrum is where the load is, where the effort is. Okay, well we know where the load is, right? The hamburger right here. Okay, so where would the effort be? Yeah. The effort would be me, and then where would the, be the part that moves the least amount? The bottom. So this is the pivot point. So if the effort is in the middle, I'm sorry, if the effort's in the middle, it is a third class lever. Okay, so this is a third class lever. Also, if I was to do some sweeping with it, that would also be, if I decide to play baseball, spatula baseball. Oh, that'd be cool. Or, With hamburgers. <laughs> thanks for laughing. Spatula then, golf. Like, All right. <laughs> Lacrosse. Um, let's move on to this one. These are scissors. scissors and um, they have uh, the, what, where's the pivot point of the scissors? The middle. The middle, right? This little red dot. Oh, so we already answered our question. The middle is the fulcrum, so what class lever is it? First class lever. Effort, effort. Ow. Love. Okay. Painful. No, I didn't. Okay, this, this uh, is a, yeah, it's a nutcracker. And uh, if I had a pistachio nut or something, or my fingers in here, ow, ow, ow. Where's the load? The load is where whatever you're trying to hurt is. And then the fulcrum would be this this pivot point right here, and then the the effort is here. Yeah, most of the time, huh? In this case, check this out, Levi. So if the load is in the middle, so if the load's in the middle, what class lever is it? Second class lever. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Um, I just wanted to tell tell you a little story about something that happened to me in college. Okay? I know it's it's like a story map in a way. Okay, and you know I like to share things about myself with you and tell you boring stories. So this is a boring story. Um, when I was in college, um, I had uh, an RA on the floor on my floor, my dorm floor that I that I lived. An RA stands. Nobody knows, huh? Residence. Resident assistant, and that's a person who is in charge. They get paid, check this out, shh. They get paid a little bit of extra money, and they are in charge of what goes on on the dorm floor. So, for instance, if I'm having trouble with my roommate uh, and we're in an argument about something, then my RA might help us out uh, by you know, talking to us. If I, um, something's wrong with my room, like the carpet's torn up or something, I would tell her and she would get somebody to fix it. Okay, so I went to my RA because I was feeling really blue. Huh, I was funny. feeling really depressed. Yeah, that's why it's blue. And, you know, I'd worked really hard and I was just really, I just, I was stressed out and I was just really extremely blue when I went to my RA. And so she said, you know, Katie, you ought to, you ought to take a trip somewhere. You ought to take a vacation. Just get away from it all. So she said, you know, I have an RV. And I can lend it to you. So I went to my RA, and she gave me her RV. But she said, oh, but what you have to do first is you have to go put some fuel in it. Oh, and then you went to LA. So then, get, you're getting ahead of me. I didn't okay, so then I got some fuel. I got some fuel, and then I went to LA. Then they went to Vegas. Then Las Vegas. Then I went to Las Vegas. <laughs> Or Las Vegas, and I drove all around Las Vegas. I went everywhere. Now, I'm not a big gambler, but I do like to play the arcade games. Okay, arcade games are fun. I like New York, New York a lot, but they're really expensive, so I usually end up at Circus Circus. Or there's another one, the um, no, the Castle one. What? Excalibur. That's it. Okay, okay, yeah. You're right. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Okay. So, uh, so then I went from L.A. to Las Vegas, and I played a bunch of games, and 
I, uh, I, I was having a great time going all over the whole body of Las Vegas. But then I check this out. I spent all my money on arcade games and video games. And, and the, you know that dance? Get that dance? I'm not very good at it, but I really, I can, I'm, I'm glad nobody saw me because, okay, well, anyway, I lost all my money and I came back feeling pretty bad. This is a little bit better, but because um, I had gone away, but I had lost all my money, so um, I was feeling blue again. But it was a big learning for me. It was really, really good. All right. That's my story. Yesterday. I don't know. Can somebody tell me about the story again? Where did I first go? To your RA. Oh, it was my RA, okay. Then where did I go? RV. Then I got the RV, but before I took off the electric, I had to get fuel. Okay. Then, after I got the fuel, where did I go? And then where did I go? Las Vegas. I don't know. This is quite pointless. Genius class. All right, all right. Yesterday we looked at um, we looked at Bill Nye, and Bill Nye mostly talked about what substance. Blood. Talked about blood. Okay, love dub. Talked about the heart. We didn't finish it, but we will. Um, no. But um, but we talked about the heart. Um, let me ask you some questions. How many liters of blood are in your body? Five. 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 Okay. How many? How much? How many milliliters of white blood cells? One half. Five. Half. No, no. How many milliliters of white blood cells? Five. Okay. Um. When you give blood, when you donate blood, about how much do you give? Half a liter. Exactly. Okay, about one of those water bottle fulls. Okay, great. Um, please um, find out. This is a group of four right here. That's a group of four. That's group four. That's group four. That's group five. That's group four. That's group four. That's a group of four. This is a group of three. Okay. So you need to find out. The person with the longest hair needs to decide between your group of four who is going to get out a piece of scrap paper. Piece of scrap paper. Please go ahead and get it out. You have longest hair. You decide or you get it out. Get out, just get out a piece of scrap paper. It's good. Okay, so raise your hand if you have the scrap paper. Raise your hand if you have the scrap paper. Where's your scrap paper? Kelly's going to get it out. Okay, you can put your hand down. Are you on there? I am. Kyle, do you have the scrap paper? No. Does anybody back yeah. You do, Haley? Yeah. Okay. All right. This is your mission for the next, I would say, 98.6 seconds. You are going to talk about in your group and just, it doesn't matter whether you're right or not. Looks. <laughs> that word says looks. The structure of what you think the structure of the heart is. Wait, wait, wait. What you think, your group, is the structure of the heart, and you're going to jot that down. And then the second thing is the function, what it does, like what it has to do. So, structure and function, 98.6, is that right? Yeah, 98.6 seconds. Just jot down, person with a scrap paper ready, go. Write it down. Love dub. Love and dub. And there's two sides. Okay, so what can you do to get them to tell you things? I can motivate them with my talking. Or you could ask them. Or ask them questions. Say, Alexandra, what do you think? Alexandra. What do you think about that? Two parts. Go ahead. Good, we, got, we have some stuff written down here. Hey, in the last class, they said, they said, um, they said that the heart was about the size of a fist. Could that be something that you write down? Yeah, and that's what I wrote. 
Because I was watching like a. Uh, no, it's like. Uh, they have like an open heart surgery. Yeah. I saw on TLC and it was orange. Okay. Yeah, it can be kind of. That's because of the inside. Okay, what is the first part? Wait right here. Carly's got some things she wants to write down. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, the first part is the blue. No, no, no. Okay, so the blue. First. What do you got? So far. Uh, it has four chambers and pumps blood throughout your body. It's a, about the size of your face, and one side uh, pumps blood to your lungs and the other to the rest of your body. Mr. Bolt, what's that one word in the heart? Mr. Bolt. It's like left to right, it starts with an A. Mm. Artichoke? Ventricle. You know? Sure. Scott Mike. Archer. What's the A? In one of the chambers. You're going to find that out. It's like an archer. Okay, I'm looking around, seeing you have some good stuff on your paper. Messing around. Good. All right, let me ask you a question. Why would I have you do an activity like this? I'm, I'm just kind of stepping out of the, the um, like, teaching mode right now. And I'm stepping into why would a teacher, why on earth would a teacher have you do something like this right now? Why? Why? Um, so we can kind of like gather Kelly's the talking. information we already know so we can learn more. Okay. So, so in fact, this is what education is all about, whether you have a teacher or not. It's from going what you know, from what you know already, to maybe what you don't know or knowing more. Okay, and is it okay for you to write something on that paper and be completely off base? Yes. Yeah, because is a guess is a guess a form of questioning? Yes. And is it? Remember, all learning starts with a question or a hypothesis. You are. We're always like up top. Oh, don't give Kyle high five. Yes. Okay. So let's look up here. Let's look up at the screen, and we're going to learn some stuff. What'd you say? Kyle has a song? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Up and dub and push out the blood. <laughs> you get it? Because mob dub and they push out the blood. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's kind of fun. This happens I've always my told you this is my genius class. Oh, he hates his counting. But it's. Hang on just a sec. I asked first. I gotta focus. It just takes a moment. Hey, Levi. I used the scientific background thing. I, I found it when you told me that and I and now I have all these really cool sounds and it's awesome. Thanks. Where did I get what? Oh, it. Oh, no. well, I want to turn the lights off. Oh, sure turn. you do. This turn you close the blinds. I will. Okay. Um, it was on the computer already. Okay, this is called Brain Pop, and it's um, got a whole bunch. It has a whole bunch of different um, films on it. This film is on the heart, and um, so you just want to listen to this and see what you can come up with. As far as confirming or correcting your information. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's not on yet. Love dub. So you um, have a letter for me. Ooh, a love letter. And it's not even Valentine's Day. Of course it's a Valentine. Look at the envelope. Oh. Dear Tim and Moby, sometimes when I'm playing hockey, my heart beats so loud that I can hear it. What's that all about? Signed, Lana. Right, hearts, because the letter was about the heart. All right, all right. This is an important question, so I want to be sure we understand a few things about the heart. The heart is a powerful muscle in your chest, about the size of your fist. The heart muscle is different from other muscles. It never gets tired, and it pumps blood through your body so that oxygen and nutrients can get to the organs and tissue that need them, and so that cell waste products can be removed. The heart is made up of two pumps, one on the left side and one on the right. 
Each of the pumps is made up of an atrium and a ventricle. Okay, so um, we just we we push out the blood. This right here, what is this called? This is an atrium, and this is an atrium, and what are these? These are ventricles. Oh yeah. Okay. Now they're gonna back up a little bit when I press this again. The heart is made up of two pumps, one on the left side and one on the right. Each of the pumps is made up of an atrium and a ventricle. The atria bring blood into the heart and pass it to the ventricles, which pump the blood back out. This pumping cycle produces your heartbeat. Here's hey, wait a minute, wait, wait, I gotta just, uh-oh. I didn't mean to go that far back, but... So Let me... you, um, dear Tim, right heart. The heart is a powerful muscle in your chest. The heart is made up of two pumps, one on the left side and one on the right. Each Sorry. of the pumps is made up of an atrium and a ventricle. The atria bring blood... Okay, wait, wait, this is where I want to stop. Why? on earth is the right side here blue and that's red. Oxygen. Oxygen. Wait, what, 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 Nadia? This one has oxygen? Yeah. What about this one? The blue one is blue. The blue one is blue. The blue one is blue. The blue one has oxygen. That has the red one has new. Ah, chaos. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Deep breath. Quiet! Three. Okay. The red side looks like it has, it has more oxygen no. instead of the blue. This side? Yes. <laughs> this You're side wrong. has more oxygen, it's red. We. This no. is actually, is it's our right, but it's considered the left atrium because the heart is in someone. Remember we talked about that yesterday? Oh, Miss and then what about this yeah. one, Kyle? The, the um, blood is blue before the oxygen gets to it. Bueno. Okay. It's without oxygen. Without oxygen. Okay. The heart is made up of two oh, pumps. No. One on the left. This pumping cycle produces your heart. The heart is made up of two pumps. One on the left side and one on the right. Each of the pumps is made up of an atrium Sorry. and a ventricle. I know. The atria bring blood into the heart and pass it to the ventricles, which pump the blood back out. This pumping cycle produces your heartbeat. Here's how it works. When your brain sends a signal for the heart to beat, the right atrium fills with used blood that has been through the body and needs to go to the lungs for more oxygen. The left atrium fills with fresh blood from the lungs that is ready to go back through the body. The atria squeeze blood into the ventricles below. When all the blood is in a ventricle, the valve between the ventricle and atrium closes, and the ventricle pushes the blood out of the heart. The right ventricle pumps used blood to the lungs. The left ventricle pumps fresh blood into your body so it can circulate. Did you see how it does it simultaneously? That's so cool. Yes. Isn't it? The right ventricle pumps used Sorry. blood to the lungs. <laughs> The left ventricle pumps Sorry. fresh blood into your body so it can circulate. It takes about one minute for blood to circulate through your entire body and back to your heart to be pumped out again. So now we know how your heart beats. The process of pumping blood is one that your body does automatically over and over again. Listen, you guys. Right. Lana asked about feeling your heartbeat during sports. Your heart rate increases when you run and play, and even when you're nervous. Think about it. When your body is working hard, the muscles tire out quicker. Your heart has to beat faster to get oxygen through your body so that you can keep going. The faster and harder your heart is beating, the louder it sounds. Well, I um, hope that answers your question, Lana. Another one? That's the robot. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> We'll take it later. No, no. No. Now. now. Okay, check this out. This is blood pumping through your heart. This is just a diagram, of course. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. okay so you can see, you can see right here, this is blood that's coming from the body. This is called the inferior vena cava. And this is the... Uh, superior vena cava and this comes from this this pumps blood from your head and your shoulders and this pumps blood from your body and it goes into your right atrium then it goes down into the right ventricle <coughs> RV then it goes out the pulmonary artery to the lungs and gets fuel <laughs> That's cool. Then it comes in to the, the pulmonary left. vein to the L A left, left oh, atrium. Then it goes to, to the, the left, left ventricle. ventricle. Yeah. Then it goes out the aorta. These three arteries carried up to the head 
And, and that's the, this really artery red. carries it down oh. to Just the bottom, oh. all oh. over the they body. They look like arms going like this. Shh, that was your story. You're really smart. And no, that's why it was red and blue. You are. Okay, so this is blue because it doesn't have oxygen in it. And this is red because it does. Now, let me ask you something. What's the difference between an artery? Now, Bane's not up here, but what's the difference between an artery and a vein? It all has to do with coming and going to the heart, Levi. I think an artery doesn't pump blood. Okay, that is that we're, we're going in the right direction. Give me more pieces of the puzzle. Kelly. Okay, I think... The artery um, has blood that goes into the heart, and then the veins are blood that comes out of the heart. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. You're exactly on the right track. Are our veins blue because they don't have oxygen on them yet? Partly. <laughs> wait, wait, t time out. Listen, Nadia, go ahead. The blood without oxygen around your body, and the veins bring it back into your heart. Okay, so anytime blood is leaving, bye bye the heart. It does it with an artery. Check this out. And every time it goes into the heart, we call it a vein. So veins carry blood back to the heart, and an artery takes it away. Bye bye Okay, question, comment. How is it when you cut yourself, but you don't like cut, cut your like um, vein or anything? Why is it, how do you bleed? If, if your veins, if your veins, like if, say you just like barely cut your hand, like this. Yeah. Why do you bleed? Why do you bleed? Because, because it, but it's not touching your veins or arteries. Okay, great question. And this goes back to Bill Nye yesterday. Yeah. Not only do we have arte arteries and veins, but what's the bridge in between those two tissue. things? Tissue. Muscle. Okay, tissue, but something I'm Ligament. thinking, a very small little blood vessel. Oh. Uh, capillaries. Capillaries. Remember, there's, I think Bill Nye said this yesterday, each cell is only about four cells away, three to four cells away from a capillary. So that means that they're all really close to capillaries. Oh, so because if your body didn't have access to that blood, Kyle, what couldn't it get that it needs? Oxygen. Oxygen, Oxygen. that's right. And, cool. Question. Um, what kind of, the, uh, the, like the pump that reloads like the blood and the heart to be pumped back out, is that the soft? Like, oh. It's the, the valve. The valves are opening and closing, and that's what causes the lub dub. Lub dub. Lub dub. And push out. Haley and then Jacob. Does the blood have to heal your cuts when you get cut? Does the blood? Okay. What happens when you? What happens eventually when you bleed? When you get a cut? What, what happens? It clots over and then okay. it forms a scab. What helps it to clot, Scott? The platelets. Platelets help it to clot. I read that in my book. But if you have really thin, that's why people that have really thin blood, if they, if they just get a little cut, they can bleed to death. Yeah, like hemophiliacs lack clotting factor. Blood disorder. That's so scary. Jacob, you're next. Go ahead. Please turn to page 492 while Jacob is asking his question or making his comment. It's the, it's the love part. Yes. Is the love or jug coming like? The love is the biggest pump, right? Yes. Is that coming from the side of yep. the heart without the oxygen or with the oxygen? It's the big push. It is from the um, right atrium. Yes. Oh. All right. This looks complicated, and it's not. This is really pretty simple, but... If you look at it, first off, it kind of like, whoa, it's a lot of stuff there. But what you'll need to do is you're going to follow the arrows. Everybody should have their own book. 492. Everyone should have their own book. 492. All right, this is what you're going to do. We're going to trace the flow of blood. We'll start with the RA up here, the right atrium. So you're going to put your index finger on this right atrium, this white arrow. Please, everybody do that now on the right atrium. It's right here. Check with your table partner. All right. Follow the white arrows down from the right atrium, RA, to the RV, which is the right ventricle, up and out of the heart. Remember, anytime it's leaving, it's called an artery. And since it's going to the lungs, we call it pulmonary. The pulmonary artery is going to the lungs. It picks up fuel, swings back around, is carried back through the pulmonary vein. 
Hey. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? But above your lungs, though? I'm actually straight in between. So why no. is it going up? Is it just a diagram? Oh, oh, um, it's a diagram. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's right. This is a diagram and everything's been kind of pulled out. I have a better diagram for you on another piece of paper, but the main thing I want you to see here is I want you to see the flow, and I want you to follow it. Trace it with your index finger. Okay, please take your index finger. We'll start over again. Hold up your index finger. Bring it down onto the white arrow in the right atrium. Is that the blue? Yes. In the blue, yeah. Go to the, just look, look up here. Right ventricle, up and out to the lungs, swings back around to the left atrium, left ventricle, LA, Las Vegas, up out of the aorta, and then it goes through the whole um, systemic circulation, and then it's used, and then it travels back. Trace that path three times. Ready? Go. If you want to make race car sounds, you can. Okay, pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop. Go. I, I said, if you ask someone really like not that smart to try to find the end of this loop, this looping cycle, they'd probably keep on doing it over and over until they found it. Tricky. I can find the end. Stinking! I can't find my transparencies. What did I do with them now? Oh well. Oh yeah, so they are. Okay, Haley. This is what I wanted to show you. This. This is on the. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see how uh, gifted you are now. No, no, just that's a joke. All right, all right. Here we go. Um. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Just say DeBolt's classroom. Okay. Look up here. Check this out. We have um. We have the right atrium. <laughs> You've been coached. This Katie. Nice. Okay, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Jacob, Jacob, we need to see you in the office. Okay. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Let's start with the right atrium like we do with RA. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know what they need to be up there for, but... Okay, it comes down here to the right ventricle. Swings out. Now watch this, Haley. Check this out. Lungs. Picks up oxygen in the capillary beds of the lungs. Swings back down to the pulmonary vein. Goes back to the... Where am I? Oh, here's the left atrium. Left ventricle and then out here. Okay. Please um, turn to your table partner and go through the four... Four chambers of the heart in order. And if you don't have a table partner, please turn to um, go ahead and turn to these two. Brian and Levi, go through the four chambers. The four chambers of the heart. Close your books. I know, it's a little bit scary. Pass your books down to the center aisle. You can keep a piece of scrap paper. Pass the books down to the center aisle. Quietly. Alright, um. What is the first chamber of the heart it goes to? Right atrium. Uh, one person knew that. Let me ask you again. What is the first chamber that the blood goes to from the body? Right atrium. Then to the ventricle. Then it goes to pick up fuel or 
oxygen, and then it goes back in. Left atrium, LA, and then to the left ventricle, and then where does it go? To the body, exactly. All right, this is um, what needs to happen. Please put these papers in a safe place where you're going to be able to find them tomorrow easily. We're going to go through these tomorrow. Tuck your chair in on your way out. This um, actually, you don't need to color it at all. Just bring it back tomorrow, okay? Have a good one. It's not home fun, no. I, why would I want you to have fun at home?